Hi everyone and welcome back to another Vector Twist tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D or isometric burger. We're going to be using simple shapes and with the help of the 3D tools in Illustrator we're going to turn it into this neat icon that you see on the screen. Now instead of working from a sketch you can actually pretty much create or draw anything from simple shapes. So in this case for our burger we're going to be working with these shapes that I've created out of simple rectangles and then stacked them on top of each other and rounded out the corners. And remember, you just need half of the portion of the burger when you use the revolve tool in Illustrator. Now select all of the elements and then go to Object and group them. Once you've grouped them, select it and then we go to Effect and we'll apply the 3D revolve tool. Now in the window we have to make sure that we set it from the left edge to the right edge. Of course we want an isometric view, so from position we're going to be choosing isometric right. And since we want to add our own colors and not the plastic shading ones, make sure to turn it off and select no shading. Alright, this looks good, and then hit OK. Now once that is done, select it and then go to Object and expand the appearance. Now of course we have tons of points, tons of lines, things that we won't really need. So let's clean this up so we can then color it and make it look like this 3D icon burger. First go to object and ungroup things and then we're going to clean it up step by step. So the top one, just select it, then open up the pathfinder. I'm going to drag it out and then hit the shape mode unite. We have way too many points, we don't really need them. So let's go to object, path and then hit simplify. That looks pretty good and then move it out of the way. Next we need to clean up what will be turned into our tomato slice and into our cheese slice. Right now both are grouped. If I'm going to ungroup it, it's going to get really messy. So we're going to do a little trick. Select it, then right click and then select isolate selected group. Once we're inside, you're going to click once on the red and then find the magic wand in the toolbar and then just select once. This will select all of the red shapes without selecting anything else on the artboard because you're in the isolated group and then we can unite them. Again, we're going to clean it up. So back to object, path and hit simplify. So that looks pretty good. Then click on the yellow, back to the magic wand, select the yellow. It will select everything that is within this group that is yellow and then we can unite them. And of course, go back to object, path, and then we'll simplify it. Now we can exit and then we can ungroup it. So when we go back, now we have the tomato shape and then we have the cheese shape. The next step is the burger. It is not grouped with anything else. So just select all of it and hit the unite button and back to object and then simplify. I think you're getting the idea. So I'm just going to continue that with the rest of everything. Just going to unite it and then clean it up so we have less points. Now we're almost done. Just the bottom burger bun. We'll clean it up and then we can finally color it. Now the next part is really fun. We're just going to be coloring it, giving it some lines, some shadows and some highlights. So first let's align everything again. But the first thing we can do is actually select all of the shapes and then give it a dark stroke. In this case, I'm just going to give it a black stroke. I'm going to set it to three points and in the stroke panel, I'm also going to round it out. And then we're going to be working with the layers. So in the layers panel, you can see that the burger right now is on one layer called burger. But let's split it up and give it the names. So I'm going to speed this up for you, but it's really good practice just to have your layers ready. It's much easier to find your stuff. All right, that's it. We have the layers and now the fun begins. First, we're gonna be working on the top bun. We need to add a little bit of a shadow and a highlight and some dots just like you see it on top of here. We'll select the shape and to make our life really easy, we're going to be working with draw inside. Now, before we color it, we need to change the top color. We're going to be using the draw inside, but we need to kind of work backwards. So let's change the fill into a darker color. Then we're going to hit the draw inside. Then we're going to be turning off the stroke and then change the fill into a lighter color. Then we'll choose the ellipse tool and then we'll just draw an ellipse, just like this. At the same time, we're going to be adding some seats on top. So let's create some small ellipses. We'll choose a lighter color. Then we're going to use the rotate tool Press and hold the optional Alt key, click once, hit copy, and then press the duplicate command. And once that's done, we'll select all of the shapes. We're going to group them. Then we're going to Effect, 3D, and we're going to choose Extrude and Bevel. We're going to be turning it into an isometric view. So from the position, choose Isometric Top, set the Extrude to zero points, and turn off the shading, and then hit OK. Once that's done, we're going to expand it on the object, and then we're going to be moving it into place. Maybe we're going to be scaling it up a little bit and then just move it to the top. Since we're still drawing inside, 
it will be clipped to the burger outline. Then we're going to be continuing to add some of the spots. So we'll choose a darker color and then just use the ellipse tool and make also sure that the stroke is not on. And then we are just going to be adding some circles. And as you can see, we're getting the texture of our bun. Just place them randomly in different sizes. If you have too many, just delete the view or select them and move them around. And now we can move on to the tomato slice. Now here with the tomato slice, I'm going to be moving it off to the side so you can see better what's happening. What we're going to do again, we're going to be drawing inside. Let's hit draw inside. Make sure the stroke is turned off. And then for the fill, we're going to be choosing a lighter color. I already have one set up, so let's select it. I'm just going to be creating an ellipse and then move it into place. Then we're going to be choosing the darker color again. And we're going to be adding some pieces, just like we did for the top of the bun. Create a rectangle, select the top corners, and then error edge them out and round it out slightly. Increase it a little bit, and then we're going to be rotating it again. So press the optional Alt key, 60 is good. Press copy, and then duplicate them all the way around. We're going to be selecting all of them. We'll group them, and we're going to add the effect of the extrude and bevel. It will remember the same we've done for the top of the bun, so just apply it. Increase it, move it into place, and then expand it. And that's pretty much it. We've created our first tomato slice. It's huge right now, but we're going to shrink it down. The only thing we're going to be adding is a little bit of a stroke. Just go back into our clipping. We'll create a copy of the top circle. We're going to be turning off the fill and give it a stroke. And then we're going to be cutting it into pieces. So with the scissors tool, just cut it and then delete the rest. With the small piece selected, Go to the width tool and then we're going to be widening it a little bit in the middle. Make sure you have the rounded corners on and then you can either set it to zero on each side or leave it small as it is. Now here's our tomato slice. Let's select all of it and then let's shrink it down and move it into place. And because it's so much fun, let's reflect it and create another slice on the other side. And this slice I'm going to make a little bit smaller and move it up. I'm going to delete the stroke and add another one and then either with the pen tool or with the pencil or brush create another stroke. We're going to be repeating the step. We'll hit the width tool. I select it in the middle. I'll make it a little thicker and that's pretty much it. And then we can move on to the G's. With the direct selection tool I'm just grabbing one of the corners and I'm going to pull it down a little bit as if the G's is melting and kind of hanging over our burger. Again we're going to be drawing inside. So hit the draw inside button, turn off the stroke, bring the fill to the front and then choose a lighter color. And then with the blob brush, I'm simply just drawing an extra color into the inside, just like that. And now we've created the cheese. Next is the bun. We'll move it closer as well. And we'll just repeat the step. I'm just going to draw some highlights and some shadows inside via the draw inside function. Always make sure that you turn off the stroke and then just change the colors. So for the right side, we want to have a little bit of a lighter color. I'm going to be using the blob brush and then just draw in a shape. And for the other side, I'm going to use a darker color and I'll do the same thing and probably send it to the back and then move it closer. And then the next part is the lettuce. Now with the lettuce here, we want to have wavy lines on the outside. So there's an easy way to do this as well. So select the shape, go to effect, Distort and Transform and choose Zigzag. Now in the pop-up, make sure you use Smooth for the points and then you can press OK. Now if you have too many points here, you can always remove anchor points with the pen tool. So if I click this here, I can alter the shape and make it a little bit more lettuce-like looking. And then we're going to expand the appearance. And then I just want you to select with the Direct Selection tool the fill and then draw inside. Again, we're going to be choosing a much lighter color. I'm using the blob brush again, and then I'm going to be adding some highlights to our corners here. And then on the other side, something darker, and then exit our draw inside shape, and then move everything closer to our burger. Maybe even increase it a little bit, so I have a little bit more lettuce sticking out on the side. And then we have the bottom bun. Same as before, we're just going to change the fill into a darker color. Then we're going to be drawing inside and choose a lighter color for the fill. Back to the ellipse tool and that's it. We can move the whole shape up a little bit. Now we've created our burger. The only thing that's missing right now is our pickle. So I'm going to be choosing a green for our pickle and I'm just going to be working with the pencil tool. So I'm going to be drawing my pickle shape. I think that's a pretty good pickle. What do you think? Then we're going to effect. 
3D and then we're going to choose extrude and bevel. There we're going to be using the isometric top for position. We're going to be setting it to zero points extrude and of course no shading. Then press OK. Then with the free transform tool I'm just going to be rotating it probably into this position. Let's expand the appearance, increase the size. Let's see, it's going to be sticking out on both sides. I think that's good. Now before we add a stroke to it, let's offset the path. We want something lighter in the middle. So select the shape, go to object, go to path and then select offset path, probably minus 10 points depending on the size of your drawing and then hit OK. Then the fill we're going to change into a lighter color. Then we're going to add some elements to represent seeds. So back to the regular color and then we're going with the ellipse tool, we're just going to draw some seeds, maybe on the left side and the right side, select all of it and then deselect the shapes. So you just have the small shapes and then just rotate them slightly. You might have to push them around a little bit and move them into place. We need to add another shape. So select the first shape, create a copy of it into the back, give it a really dark green color and then move it to the bottom. And now we need to add a stroke. But if I add it to the bottom and then give it three points, I don't have it on the top. If I add it to the other shape, I would have it inside and I don't want that. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom shape and the shape on top, create a copy of it, and then we're going to unite it in the pathfinder. We'll make sure it's the darkest color. And then we're going to be adding a stroke to it of three points. Then we can delete this shape and then put this shape just behind. So place it into position. Also, you want to set the stroke to the outside. And I think that's it. Now, all we have to do is a small stroke in here. Use the pen tool and then just create a path along the outside. And we're going to be using the width tool. And that's it. Now we're just going to select all of the elements of the pickle, group it, and then we'll move it into place. So basically on top of the tomatoes, we'll select our top bun and then move it on top. And then you can move it into the position you're happy with. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I'm going to shrink it down just a tad. And that's it. Now here's our 3D or isometric bun icon. And we have each and every element on its own layer and we can move it around and you can put it tighter together or even create an exploded view out of it. Now let me show you one of the exploded views I've created out of this example of a bun that we've just created together. And here it is. So all we did was use simple shapes, just the front view, and of course, as you can see, we only have half of it because we used the 3D Revolve tool to make our shapes out of it. We expanded everything and we created this beautiful burger icon. And because we have every single element on its own, on each layer, you can create this particular exploded view out of your bun. And that's it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. I'll see you then.